Hey guys, welcome back to part 30 of my Sims 3 Island Paradise Let's Play. In the last part, we got some serious cash. That's all I'm going to say. But, um, in this part, we are going to move them into a house because they can't be staying in the resort with a baby, married, and all that. that that's just not going to happen. So, why do I keep clicking the wrong button? Real estate, move, within this neighborhood. So they can finally get out of the resort, have their own house. Okay, make active household. It's only worth two hundred fifty-four dollars. <laughs> we never did anything with that houseboat or the platform. That is, we'll probably actually buy them an extra house. Um, since you can't do that now, so maybe. Yeah, later on we'll buy them another houseboat. They can actually afford one right now. But this is a house that I looked at for them off camera. I really like this house. It's it's a one bedroom, but hey, you know, I don't want to get them something like this, you know. It's weird looking just one bedroom shack thing. Or maybe that one would be nicer. I don't know, but for now they're getting this house. It's 18,000. It's really nice. And there we go. They now have eighteen thousand dollars left. Yes. There we go. They finally have a real house and don't have to stay in the resort tower. Marcus, you decided nothing. Nicole decided this. She's like, I can marry to a man and we live in a resort. I need to have Marcus actually read this book as he finds something else right when I cancel out. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't have him automatically go move with Nicole. To my surprise, when I was um, off camera looking at this house, I was going through um, vehicles for them, and I actually noticed that there was a moving truck, and I was like, what the heck? I was like, maybe I should buy that just for fun and have them move with the moving truck so yeah this is a house it's not much but hey at least they finally have a house i'm gonna get rid of this furniture because it's bad you can't have them sleeping on that is that a rug no that's tile okay let's get them a better bed is there anything that came with island paradise that's a university bed university life which i just got recently um Island Paradise. Island Paradise. There's one bed. There we go. Kind of fits perfect with the mood of their house, actually. That's one upgrade. Downstairs. Can't have them watching the old timey television. We're big spenders now. Can't have that either. It's not allowed. Bargain toilet, no. Everything has to go. All in one bathroom. <laughs> that works. Maximize the space. Costs quite a bit too. Any TVs that come with this? I don't think so. No. Just go all items. What the heck? I just messed this up. No. Stop this. Okay, whatever. There we go. Oh. Um, what TV should I get them? I like this TV. It's a nice TV. I changed the layout of this room. Turn the table that way. Stupid sofa, no. That came with Island Paradise. There we go. Need a new stove. Triforge stove. And a new refrigerator. What the heck is this? Oh, vending machines. Okay. That came with University Life. 
think that was pets. We don't really need like that big or that expensive a refrigerator. We just need an upgrade from what we had. So I think that's all I'm gonna do. Possibly it could use a car, but maybe I'll get that later. I moved the tree that was wait, where'd the tree go? Oh, I didn't save it. Stupid tree was in the way. That's a great place for their garage. Or just a carport, not a garage. So that will be there when they actually get a car. Well, Nicole has one, but Marcus needs a car too. So he can drive to work. I like the motorcycles too. Okay, we're gonna stop spending money. Cole's like, but I like the resort. <laughs> She's freaking out over the TV. She's like, we ha we actually have something nice. There is something nice in our house. We actually have a house. I'm so grateful. <laughs> yes, Nicole. You finally have a house. That you can live in and be proud of. Are you proud, Nicole? She's like, I don't care. Alright, Marcus. I guess he's going home. I would assume. Where the heck are you going? Go home. Yeah, they don't have to live here anymore. Yay! Oh, wait. Can I upgrade one of these? Yeah, 10,000. We would have spent that inheritance money quite fast. Quite swiftly. I need to change that. Yeah. There. Perfect. Glad we can edit on like two different lots or whatever. We don't have to edit just like at the house. New house, pristine picture. Sorry if you heard any background noise. Marcus is making the trip home. And there's a restaurant. I don't think we can actually get any money from that until like a whole entire week, which is annoying. Now Marcus gets to make his entrance into the house. What will his reaction be? Nothing. It's like, oh, look, it's a house. I'll get something to eat. That's one thing I'm sure that they will miss. Free food. Yep, at the resort they got free nice food. Here they had to pay for it. I miss an, um... What was that? Sims 2, actually, when you could, like, buy groceries and restock the refrigerator. I don't know if you still had to pay for food, though. You don't have to pay for the first option, but hey. Later on, you have to pay for food. If I'm not mistaken, I think pancakes were like $6. Not bad. I mean, you have to pay for food in real life, too, so. They don't work till Monday. Same thing. Yep. So he's going to go check out the TV. And I'm going to end it here, guys. Okay, with Marcus's weird reaction to the TV. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. And stay tuned for the next part.